Hi everybody. Um, I'm gonna go off the on uh, a different direction today. See, I got this um, notification from Google that Jehovah's Witnesses were in the news again, so I clicked on it to see what was going on. Well, um, start this starting this past Friday, they started having a an auction in Beaumont, Texas. Um, for Watchtower Bible Track Society equipment. And I'm like, okay, because, you know, I remember after they were done building the um, headquarters, uh, they had put some ads up for, they were selling vehicles, you know, cars, pickup trucks, minivans, um, utility vehicles, backhoes, road great I mean dump trucks all kinds of huge equipment and they had supplies and you know wood and nails and all those kinds of things and plywood and two by fours and and tires and you know everything related to a construction site they were selling off all the equipment that they had so um I thought yeah okay they're gonna make a bunch of money on that uh, they said they were going to auction it off in, in the next coming months. So in the back of my mind, I'm kind of keeping an eye out for it. Well, it happened, right? So the they built the headquarters in New York, and the auction is in Beaumont, Texas. And they showed on the article, the picture they showed was a whole bunch of, of um, uh supplies and stuff stacked up, you know, pile of tires, a pile of wood, pile of two by fours, you know, all a whole bunch of different stuff that, you know, people were going to be bidding on these different things for the auction, right? So, um, the headline on the thing on the news said that, um, Jehovah's Witnesses were selling this stuff off surplus from, um, the rebuilding homes after after um, Hurricane Harvey in Texas. Remember that last year? Okay, so, and I was thinking, you know, they had all of this equipment in New York, and they had to get it to Beaumont, Texas somehow. So they had to have shipped it, drove it, um, whatever they did. It, even with volunteers, it cost money to move all that stuff, right? But I remember several of us on um, the YouTube um, uh, groups, um, we called headquarters and asked them, were there any kingdom halls damaged or destroyed? And how were they looking out for the Jehovah's Witnesses that were um, homeless or displaced or missing or anything like that and they had the attitude oh well the the elders and the circuit overseers and all that they know how to do all that stuff and they'd be doing that they would be taking care of that and um if they needed anything they'd they'd call headquarters right so there wasn't really any reason for them to call headquarters about the people in texas and we're like Really? Because they were talking about, you know, all this um, work they were doing. I mean, people would call up headquarters. <laughs> a few people called up headquarters and said, well, we have clothes and money and food we want to donate. And, you know, uh, where can we drop it off at? And they were saying, well, we don't have anything here to um, for that. So we're like, yeah, in, in a way, we're trying to figure out if, in fact, Watchtower is a charity like they claim to be, right? But they don't, they don't take in those things for their members. They don't give those things out for their members, so they don't take it in, right? So no need for it. So um, anyway, in this ad that they had for the auction, they were saying that this stuff was left over from um, rebuilding after the hurricane, and I remember them saying after the hurricane that all the JW members were accounted for and that no kingdom halls were damaged, and I was like, okay, you know, it, um, the kingdom halls must be okay then, it didn't get any of them, and now they're saying that they were rebuilding kingdom halls and people's homes, so what I did was, <laughs> I get on Reddit, and I put an ad up, and I, I said, 
I want to hear from any J, current JW or any non-JWs that helped rebuild Kingdom Halls or doing work on, on um, JW homes that needed rebuilding, right? So this is what I got. Um, a couple of these people that respond, responded are PMO. And in case anybody knows what PMO, they don't know what it is. It's physically in, mentally out. So they're awake JWs inside the organization. And, and I got comments from these people. You got to hear what they said. Unbelievable. So the first one I got is, to my knowledge, the JWs did not help other non-JWs rebuild after Hurricane Harvey. It took several months to even help other JWs. The local congregations set up relief for the members of their own congregations or new, nearby ones. Now that isn't to say that the brothers and sisters in these areas help back from helping strangers. There is no doubt that many of them on their own initiative and out of kindness of their heart help their neighbors who may have been in need. Texans really come together during that horrific flooding and humanity shines at its best. For, for most. Keep in mind that most, if not all, the repairs, etc., were done by volunteers and with insurance money, thus the reason for Watchtower waiting so long. Those JWs who needed immediate assistance got it, but again, due to the generosity of other nearby JWs. In fact, when asked how they could help the flood victims, they were told to donate toward the worldwide work, since that now included disaster relief. I think some ignored this and just gave money directly to their friends in need. And this is in bold print. The Watchtower Bible and Tract Society did not purposely set out to repair non-JW homes. And to my knowledge, not one non-JW home was repaired by them. Again, if one JW helped a neighbor, it was done of their own accord, not by direction from the governing body or the Disaster Relief Committee. I was in Texas during this home ordeal, and um, he put up a, a link to a post. The link was pictures of um, some people in those white zip-up uh, uniforms and they were sweeping out this room that was cluttered with stuff and underneath the picture it said, um, Jehovah's Witnesses help a friend. I don't know what kind of friend. It, it was a, a close, a worldly friend or a, a JW friend. I don't know, it didn't say. But it said they helped their friend clean up after the storm. But, you know, okay, so they sweeped out a room and hauled some wet stuff out of a house, okay? So, um, that was one of them. Um, there was another one here. Um, I think this one's it. Um... I did help in some disaster relief as a PMO, like the post link, link the by the post link by another person. We were told the same thing about only helping them make their homes livable, and let insurance or FEMA do the rest. They compared it to restoring a classic car versus just making it road legal. I'll see if I can get more information. Okay, so you know. They weren't going to fix a whole house. They didn't rebuild anybody's homes. What they did was they go out there and straighten up one of the rooms so at least they'd have one room to live in. And that was it. So why ship all of that equipment to Texas if they weren't even actually rebuilding homes like they claim that they did in the thing, you know? They're telling the public that they did all these things for hurricane victims, but from what I get from the the physically in, mentally out people, that 
they only helped other JWs, and it was only the bare minimum, like fixing one room in the house for him to live in. They didn't rebuild a house, and they were doing that on insurance money or FEMA money. They weren't doing that on Watchtower Bible and Tract Society money. Um, and the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society is encouraging people to donate to them for the worldwide work, which includes disaster relief, but they're not taking any of that money for disaster relief and sending it to the people to fix up their homes. They were laid back buying their time so that FEMA and their insurance companies would pay the money and have it fixed and they didn't have to. They weren't sending no money to those people. And, and like he said, it was the bare minimum, you know, uh, rebuilding a classic car versus just making it road legal. You know, okay, so the horn beeps and the lights work. And bye, see you later. You know, really? So they're taking in money for disaster relief and not spitting out any for disaster relief. Fraud. That's what that is. Downright fraud. To collect money for disaster relief and then not give it to the people that need disaster relief. But anyway, back to the auction. So if they weren't rebuilding homes like they were telling the public, why move all of that equipment from headquarters to to Texas? And on whose dime is that? How much you want to bet? They're going to just tell the public that, oh yeah, we were rebuilding homes and kingdom halls. And then um, sending all that up, all that equipment up there so they could write it off on taxes because they were helping to rebuild homes. Because they had to do it. Because they're a charity. And they just write all that off. I think that needs to be investigated. I think it's very wrong. They weren't even helping their own JWs. The, the people that God helped was because the people in the nearby congregations and their own congregations were pulling their money together and helping their own. But Watchtower did not send them money. That money that they're collecting for the worldwide work and disaster relief, none of that went to um, helping the people. None of it. They didn't send any money down there. But the money they were getting, they were using to ship all that equipment so they could auction it off. Um... I would, I would say that needs to be investigated. I think there's fraud involved in that because they're lying to the public. They're telling the public that they helped rebuild homes when they didn't. That was on the local congregations and local JWs. That was on their time and money. That was on their dime, not Watchtowers. Watchtower didn't send them money for that. That one, one Pimo said that it was months before they heard anything from Watchtower. Let's see, do I have another one? Um, yeah, they wanted to see a link to that um, article, and I, I'm not smart enough to know how to get the article to that particular thread I was on so they could see it. I know I could get it to go, um, I could link it over to Reddit, but I didn't know how to get it onto that particular link. I haven't, I'm not smart enough. I, I need somebody to explain it to me. I, I mean, you know, I usually ask my kids because I don't know how to do a lot of that stuff. Um, but like I said, um, They did not help non-JWs, plain and simple. Like he said, some of the JWs may have on their own accord, but it wasn't because um, Watchtower said that they should. And um, Watchtower didn't even help their own people. They left it up to the elders and the, the areas to, to do that on their own. But if somebody called, they were saying, oh, well, you can donate to the worldwide work. That includes disaster relief. But then they sent no money for these people. You know, um, I can't find the, the, the one that that one person had sent me. They said that um, 
it may have been um, the real rich JWs, the real rich ones that actually got um, Watchtower to help them um, redo their homes more than other people um, got theirs redone, you know, but for the most part, they didn't, um, they didn't help anybody. Watchtower didn't send money to anybody. But for some reason, all of that equipment got sent to Texas on the, f and they're telling the public the reason for that was that they were rebuilding kingdom halls and homes for people. And I thought, man, they're lying to the public. They didn't do any of that. If the people inside the organization are saying that they didn't, and they were hardly even able to or or hardly even helping their own, I really doubt that there were any non-JWs that had homes rebuilt. I haven't heard from one of them. You know, and there's a lot of people on that... Um, that site, like 24,000 people or something. And I, like I said, I was hearing about people that are in, but mentally out that, um, knew about what was going on and you heard what they said, you know, and I think it's shameful that, um, Watchtower can outright lie to the public. Now see, um, Jehovah's Witnesses are not supposed to go on the internet like that. So, um, they don't know that they're auctioning off all that stuff. And they don't they don't know that they moved all that stuff from headquarters to Texas. Um, they don't know that um, that those other Jehovah's Witnesses weren't helped. You know, they were the organization was actually waiting for the government to help the JWs instead of the organization sending money and saying, here, help these brothers and sisters. But they're collecting money that is supposed to go to that. You know, they're collecting money for disaster relief, but they're sending no money out for disaster relief. And like I say, I think that's outright fraud. I think it is. So, you know, if anybody else finds out anything about it, let me know. That's what I heard. I think it's disgusting that Watchtower would do that. They outright lied to the public, saying that they were rebuilding kingdom halls and homes, and they didn't. They had some flooding. They had to, you know, gut the inside of a couple of buildings or something and put in new sheetrock or something, but they weren't rebuilding homes. I mean, it was like a tropical storm, Harvey. I don't, I don't think they even really classified it as a hurricane, Harvey. You know, from most things I saw on the, the internet, it was a tropical storm. But, you know, so there was some flooding, and that was it. And I, I'm, I'm angry. I really am. That, you know, Watchtower would lie on purpose... And they're probably going to write it off on their taxes as, well, we had to ship all of it to Texas, and so, you know, we're going to auction it off. They didn't have to send anything because they didn't do anything. None of those supplies went to the Jehovah's Witnesses that needed stuff. The people in the congregations footed the bill for any stuff that was done, and they provided the volunteer work with it, things were done, and Watchtower sent no money to help do that. None. But I just wanted to let you all know that auction started Friday and it was going on all this weekend. And I think they're folding it up today. I wonder how many millions of dollars they're raking in when they didn't even help any of those Harvey victims in Texas. You know, let me know what you think. Voice your opinion at the bottom of this page. You know, I mean, I... I thought for sure when I saw that, that Watchtower was lying, but I really wanted to make sure, did I miss something? Did I not see? Because I have alerts on my 
my Google that every time Jehovah's Witnesses are in the news, I get a thing. I mean, no matter where it is. I mean, Africa, United Kingdom, anywhere that Jehovah's Witnesses is mentioned, even funerals, I get notified of all the JWs that died and stuff. And, you know, and not once anywhere did I see that they were doing anything for hurricane victims. Nowhere. So, you know, I decided to ask current JWs, and that's what I found out. So, you know, if anybody out there knows anything differently than what I was told, or if you're a non-JW that Jehovah's Witnesses rebuild your home, let me know. We all want to know. I mean, we'd be happy to hear it, but I really don't think I'm going to hear of any non-JW that had Jehovah's Witnesses rebuild their home after a hurricane. So, let me know. Have a good day, guys. Bye.